Hi mga kanayan, so this is Aurelio Isip and welcome to Isip na yan. So, for today's topic, no, we will talk about the graphs of quadratic function. So, the graph of quadratic functions are called parabolas. No, the parabolas resembles to the uh, cup of tea or inverted cup of tea. Uh, sometimes satellite, bridges and many more no so let's start so this is a cartesian plane so the graph of quadratic function the simplest equation of quadratic function is f of x is equivalent to x squared so f of x can be equate as y so y equals x squared so to determine no to graph the, the simplest form of quadratic function x squared we will set the value of x so from x and y so from negative 3 to positive 3 no we will find the value of y and then we will graph it no? determine the ordered pair ordered pair for each uh, value of x and then we will graph in our condition plane. okay so let's start our quadratic function is y equals to x squared if x is equal to 0 what is the value of y so we just substitute the value of x so if 0 x 0 squared is equivalent to 0 and 1 if x is equal equivalent to 1 or equals 1 so 1 squared is equivalent to 1 then 2 2 squared is equivalent to 4 then 3 3 squared if y equals x squared if x is 3 3 squared is equivalent to 9 no so if x is equivalent to negative 1, so negative 1 squared is also a positive 1. So negative 2 squared, so negative 2 squared is negative 2 squared is positive 4. And negative 3 squared is positive 9. So these are, it becomes no, it becomes the ordered pair for each value of y. So meaning, if x equals to 0, y equals to 0, x equals 1, y equals 1, then 2, y is 4, then 3, y is 9. If x is equivalent to negative 1, then y is 1, y is 1, then negative 2, then positive 4 yung y, and then negative 3, then positive 9, the value of y. So if we graph this in our Cartesian plane, no, we will form a parabola. This, co this is called the parabola. So the parabola, no, it has a vertex from 0, 0. And then uh, this is positive 1 and negative 1, uh, negative 1, positive 1. Then 2, positive 4, then 2, negative 2, to positive 4, and then it goes upward. So it is concave upward. So if it is concave upward, concave up, so meaning it has a minimum point. The minimum point in this case is our origin, the ordered pair is 0, 0. That is our uh, minimum point. So, this this is concave up. Okay. So, let's see the other example. So, what happens if we put a negative 
sign here. So, what will happen to the graph? So, if x is equivalent to 0, again, no? then y is equivalent to 0 squared is 0. If x is equivalent to 1, positive 1, so 1 squared, 1 squared is 1, but there is a negative here. So, the answer is negative 1. If x is equivalent to 2, so y will be 2 squared, which is 4. Then we have negative here, so negative 4. So if x is positive 3, then y will be 3 squared is 9 plus negative, so negative 9. Then x is negative 1. So, if x is negative 1, so negative 1, negative 1 squared is positive 1. But negative again, so it becomes negative 1. So, if x is negative 2, y is negative 4. Because negative 2 squared is 4, then if x is negative 3, then y, then y equals to negative 9. So the ordered pair will be the ordered pairs will be 0, 0, 1, negative 1, 2, negative 4, 3, negative 9, negative 1, negative 1, negative 2, negative 4, negative 3, and negative 9. So if we put no, plot our points in our Cartesian plane, so this is our uh, origin. So what have you noticed to the graph? No? It is concave down. Concave down, meaning if it is concave down, it has a maximum point, which is the maximum point is in the origin. So this is uh, negative 1, negative 1. This is a 1 and negative 1, and so on. Look, looking for the parabolas, no? it goes downward. No, to the infinity. So, that's it. So, to summarize, the f of x equals to x squared, no, the graph of it is concave up and again, it has a minimum point. So, if we put negative <coughs> from the coefficient, the coefficient in this function or in this quadratic function is 1. No? So, if we put negative, it will it becomes concave down. So, it has a maximum point. So, what happens if we add a constant? No? If we add a constant, for example, the x squared, we add plus 2. So, x squared plus 2. So, what happened is the value of y, no? all of the value of y becomes or added 2. So, so the ordered pair changes. So, all of the value of y added in 2. So, if we graph this ordered pair, we can see that the S x squared is translated vertically to units from origin. So, it translated vertically to units. It is concave up. <clears throat> so, that is the the effect if we add 2. So, x squared plus 2. This is the graph of x squared plus 2. What if the negative x squared? If we add negative x squared plus 3. So, we will just add plus 3. So, plus 3. So, what happened? We know that negative x squared is concave down. It has a maximum point. So, from origin, this is the vertex. So, added 3, translated 3 units upward. So, 1, 2, 3. So, this has an effect of vertical translation. So, plus 2, x squared plus 2, no? translated 2 units upward. And negative x squared, concave down. 
plus 3, so translated, 3 units upward. Let's have another example. So, x squared minus 1. So, what happened to the value of y if we subtract minus 1? So, again, x squared is concave up. Yeah? And then translated, 1 unit below the x-axis. So, x squared minus 1. So, the value of y, all the values of y are uh, subtracted by 1, as you can see. So, concave up. So, how about this? Negative x squared. So, it is concave down and then translated vertically 3 units downwards. So, from here, 1, 2, 3. So, negative uh, 0 and negative 3 is the vertex. So, the values of y, the all the values of y are deducted by 3. So, this is the graph of negative x squared minus 3. So, from negative x squared translated vertically, 3 units downward. So, that's all for this video. So, this is uh, just a part 1 of the quadratic function. So, just uh, like and subscribe uh, for you to follow the next videos in the quadratic function. In the next video, we will see the not only the vertical translation but horizontal translation and combine from vertical translation and uh, horizontal th translation and then we will talk about the axis of symmetry. So that's all. So good luck, soldier.